In today's tips and tricks, I'm going to show you how to test the vacuum function of the freeze dryer. So let's get started. So to do the vacuum test, first we're going to have to freeze the chamber for 30 minutes. So we'll come back in 30 minutes. So if you don't freeze the chamber for a little while before you do your vacuum test, any vapor that's in the chamber will end up getting into your oil in your pump and your oil will start to turn cloudy. So to prevent that, you freeze the chamber first. So we did that for 30 minutes already. Now we can do our vacuum test. So we'll toggle the vacuum on. The pump turns on and we'll see how long it takes to draw vacuum down. And this isn't the correct vacuum pressure yet. These last four digits are the vacuum. So we're greater than this number now, but once the 7800 gets down to 500, then we'll be below the 500 millitors. And I can show you that. We'll access one of the other screens and we can see what the reading is. We're at 30 minutes in and we're between 70 and 80 millitors. I have a vacuum pump plugged right into the wall right now. So I can hit cancel here and the vacuum pump will stay on. There's no dry time. I just want to show you that the reading on the screen is the same as what we're getting on the front screen. So the 400, so it's still dropping. How quick we can get there. We'll hit start again. Continue. Skip the freezing. So we're still at the 400. So that way you can see that that number in millitors is the same as the other number that has the three digits in the front with the decimal place. But it's the digits that are to the right of the decimal place that's your millitor reading. So 380 right now. So 336. I want to show you one more thing. If I turn off the vacuum. Let's see how quickly the vacuum reading climbs. So that climb is pretty quick. So thanks for watching.